everybody. Oh, we're gonna do another cooking video. Um, what are we doing today? So uh, yesterday we did scampi, which was really cool and everybody enjoyed it. Now today I'm gonna teach you how to take all those scraps that we made with the scampi and turn it into something else. I'm gonna show you a really cool trick. Isn't that cool? Uh, uh, on how to store it, rather. I mean, yes, you can just put it in a Tupperware container, but um, I'm gonna show you something different, which you might've seen on the internet, but I think it's different when you actually get to see somebody actually doing it. Okay, so this pot, my fancy pot, um, has, um, we roasted overnight uh, some of the tomato heads and the onions and stuff that uh, we used last night. Uh, you don't really need to do that. That was just kind of an extra step. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this onion that uh, I already cut. Cause once you cut an onion, let's be honest, it's not good no more. Might as well use it. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm showing you how to make stock. Uh, you probably already know how to make stock. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just buy it at the store. I don't know. Uh, this is a way to uh, get stock and store it and you can make it more flavorful and it's cheaper because you already have this stuff this stuff you already bought why buy more it's it's basically I like this because it's like the trash can of uh of food so stuff that was already going to go into the bin you're going to use to make a stock I mean, why throw away what you can use, right? So what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting up some onion. Trying to, at least. Dang, all our knives suck. Maybe this one. It looks scarier. Ha ha ha, scary. Uh, so this onion was probably destined for the bin. So just cut it up and it doesn't matter. Like, even if it has the paper on it, who cares? Now, once I get this done, I'll show you what else you can put in there. If you don't have an onion, that's cool. I mean, uh, seasonings and powders, those are always viable, too. Just, I mean, this is just some shit I had left over. When I say this is the trash can of re recipes, you'll see exactly what I mean. Okay, so we got that cut up, sort of. Make sure that, you know, you can leave the paper on it, but don't leave the stickers on it. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Cut them off. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> right now I'm really professional. It's like the food network around here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's in there. Okay, so we've got our onion in there. Cool. Um, let's prop this back up. Like I said, I wish I had like some sort of like harness or something I can wear for the camera. <laughs> So then you're going to, oh, there's my roommate. <laughs> Look, I do live with other people. I'm not just talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I am kind of talking to myself. So uh, garlic, if you're going to do garlic and you don't want to mess with like the paper and you don't really even want to press it, just uh, smash, hold on, smash it with a knife. You're going to use the back of it. There we go, now you can see. Um, smash it, and then you can just take the paper off. It's much easier. Yeah, 100. So do that. So we've got some garlic going, we've got some onions going. Whatever. Uh, Uh, okay, so we've got that going. Um, so now here's where it becomes the trash can of foods. Um, go through your fridge. 
anything that is like about to die or uh, you don't want, maybe something's frostbitten or I don't know, search the fridge. Let's see what we got today. Derp, derp, derp. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, hmm. Well, let's see. I live with a lot of people, so. Um, no. That, maybe? Uh, do you? Maybe. Uh, herpa derp a derp Uh, ooh, yep, definitely not. Oh, not that. <laughs> okay, so we found some stuff. Like any um, vegetables that are about to go out, uh, get those. Um, we have these uh, that uh, we got, these vegetable medley. It has like uh, cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. That's going to be perfect. Um, if you don't have something like that, I mean, you can make it work. So, mm -hmm. now we're going to add butter and oil. Butter and oil is always your secret ingredient. Also chicken broth. Um, I happen to have this. Um, if you don't have that, um, I highly recommend having this product, which I showed last night. Um, this better than bouillon stuff. It's more expensive than the thing, the, the carton or whatever, but it lasts way longer and it's more bang for your buck. If you can get that, get it. It's, uh, it's the equivalent of, I think, eight of those, so. That's about a dollar a serving. <laughs> um, and this recipe that I'm showing you, it can be vegetarian. It can be vegan. Just depending upon what you put in it. And I know you guys are smart enough to know how to make it to your taste. Herp a derp a derp. We're gonna go over here. Uh, just finding a place to put the damn camera. There we go. Maybe that way. I mean, you can't see in the pot. Derp, derp, derp. Um, I'll just do it one-handed. I don't care. Okay, so I'm cutting the butter. We've got our onion in there and our garlic. How much butter? A lot. Let's get it, let's get it heated. We're gonna start it kind of like that. Um, this is a heavy ass pot, so it takes a minute to get uh, heated. If it looks dirty to you, it is because I uh, roasted down those uh, shrimp shells from last night, so it's gonna be extra tasty. Don't be afraid to use a seasoned pan. Season being, you might have cooked something in there the night before. I'm going to tell you, you ask your grandma, your elderly neighbor, uh, it, you know, someone, someone of that nature, if they ever used a dirty pan from last night's dinner, they're going to tell you yes. These people that are all like finicky about like food safety, come on, I have my food handler's card. Like it's not that big of a deal, just fucking use it. It makes the food taste better. Is it gross? Maybe, I don't know. Is it tasty? Yep. Has anybody gotten sick? Nope. Okay, so now we're gonna add our savory base. Uh, so I have bacon available. Um, I have some smoked turkey breast meat. And I also have some chorizo. Any of these are gonna work. If you have anything like that lying around, throw it in there. I'm gonna use the bacon because I happen to have it. If I didn't have that, I'd probably go with the other ones. Or you don't have to do any of that if you don't want that in there. I mean, we also have like vegan chorizo and stuff here. I mean, we got all manner of stuff. What is the point of this tutorial? 
Well, the point of it is, is to show you how to not throw away your scraps, like those heads of tomatoes, those ends of onions, those butts of carrots, those vegetables that are about to turn. Uh, don't throw them away just yet. You can utilize them. Also, um, how we're going to uh, serve them, uh, or store them rather. Uh, what you're gonna want to get, um, and you might not have this. Where is it? Uh, mm. uh, so you need a whole bowl. And even better, if you have it. Where is it? Look at me reading my cabinets. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We use it so often, it's hard to find sometimes. Well, if you have a sieve, uh, that is really great. So what's a sieve? It's a, it's a, it's a colander like this, um, but it's like wire mesh. It's really great for making soups. Um, if you don't have one of those, you can make one. You can go to the hardware store and get a wire mesh and just put it over a bowl or something. Um, this, the, what we're making today, the items are pretty large, so the whole bowl will work. Gotta enjoy some Pepsi with y'all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is going. So we got bacon, we got heads of tomatoes, we got onion. Uh, we're about to throw in this vegetable that is about to turn. I guess we'll just do it now. So we got that going. Now, we don't need to fuss over this. We can just cook it real quick. It's just a matter of the oven heating up, you know. Like we were saying last night, uh, my oven takes forever. Uh, let's see, while we're waiting, we can sing a song. We can play a game. We can add some seasoning. That's garlic powder there. That never hurts. Uh, maybe some salt. Maybe some chili flake. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Get that going. Garbage vegetables. Yeah, if there's anything in your freezer that you know you and your roommates are not gonna eat, throw it in there too. I mean, let's be real with ourselves. Sometimes you buy something and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna eat broccoli. And then you're like, we're never gonna eat this fucking broccoli. Let's see if I have anything. Oh, these things, ugh. No. Mm, maybe. See, I'm doing it now. I'm editing. <laughs> I'm like, what are we not gonna eat? Mm. Hmm. I mean, I think every household has like stuff like that in their freezer or fridge. Uh, here's Ham. Do you want to see her, Ham? You want to model? Mir. Hi. Say hi. Are you cute? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. I hear a sizzle. That's a good sign. all those lovely vegetables and these were gonna go in the bin isn't it amazing what we waste it's 
kind of the point of these tutorials is to teach you how to make the most about what you have. Mmm, smells good. Yeah. So we've got that going. Now what are we going to do? Um, so, uh, next step, I'm going to put my chicken broth in there. That looks about right. You just want to like cover the vegetables or whatever you put in there. It could be potato ends, it could be herbs, it could be anything. Yeah, about like that is gonna be about right, maybe a little bit more. Cool, and then we're gonna kick it up on high and we're gonna boil. I hope everybody's day is going really well. Uh, mine's going okay. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, we're just hanging out, drinking Pepsi. I cannot believe I became my mother. My mother only drank Pepsi and water, and now I'm her. Uh, yep. That's about it. Um, been watching a lot of TV. Uh, Y'all been watching this the staircase? Man, that shit is wild. I'd seen the documentary, but dang. Now, why am I putting this up to a boil? Um, well, it infuses the broth, of course. And also we put bacon in there, so you wanna make sure that's cooked all the way. If you use this or this guy, if you have that lying around, you don't need to bring it to a boil if you don't want to. But I mean, come on, we boil things. That's how we infuse stuff. It's gonna be delicious. Now, if you're doing a vegan version, um, the vegetable broth and like vegetables and herbs, perfect. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna take too much longer and then we're gonna be done. This is a quick tutorial. I'm sure y'all are sick of my face. Still trying to find my sieve. It's probably in the wash. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, so this is what I was describing. Uh, so this is a sieve. Um, it's a whole bowl, but it's like a finer one. Um, ours is a little scroungy looking. We did find it in a free pile. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I will come over to your house and kick your damn ass if I catch you buying one for 50 bucks at Williams Sonoma or Pottery Barn. Just make your own. Like seriously, go to the hardware store, get you a fine mesh and just throw it over a mason jar or something and that's your new sieve. Especially if you like soups. Oh. Yeah, cooking supplies don't need to be expensive. Um, Goodwill is an excellent resource if you have access to one. Um, so many people get really expensive, like cooking equipment because they think they're going to like be chefs now or something, or they get them for their wedding and they get multiple items or whatever, and they just donate them. You can get really good stuff for, I think, uh, housewares, it's a flat rate of like $5.99 for things. So you can get some good stuff. That's how I got my pasta roller. That's how I got, uh, my blender. Uh, that's how I got the sieve. I had been wanting one of those, but they were too expensive. God damn, Williams and Simona wanted 50 bucks for one of those. Are you crazy? I'll take the ugly one <laughs> off the side of the road. I, I know how to use bleach. 
Yeah, don't do that. Um, also, uh, workout equipment is another thing. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go to a Lululemon or some expensive workout store. Just go to the Goodwill. It's a flat rate of $4.99. You can find a lot of really nice stuff because people always like do these like freaking January resolutions and then they don't follow through with it. So go get their shit. And fuck Goodwill. Steal from them if you can. So we're just getting boiling. We're almost done. Once the bacon is like cool, then we'll be ready to go. And I'll show you how to store it, like I said, in an interesting way that perhaps you don't know. I mean, of course, you can just put it in Tupperware or mason jar or whatever, but I think the way I'm going to show you is a little more, like, cost-effective and, uh, I don't know, cooking-friendly, especially if you're cooking for just one or two. Don't you love recipes online? They're always, like, <laughs> portioned out for, like, a damn dinner party, which is cool, but like sometimes you're just cooking for yourself or sometimes you're just cooking for your you and your partner and maybe you guys don't eat that much. I mean, damn, I don't eat a damn platter. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're sailing right along. Shit, when in doubt, always take the ugly one. I love free piles. You got a dinged up pot? Cool, I'll take it. Are you dinged up? I'll take you. Broken handle, fine. Ham. Let's look at ham. Say hello to the internet, ham. Oh. Isn't my daughter a beautiful model? Doop a doop a doop, herp a derp a derp, la 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 la. I really appreciate those that tune in. Um, I love cooking, so I love teaching people how to do it. Um, obviously, I'm not doing it for this reason, but if you do want to tip me, it's, it's Christine underscore Healy on Venmo. Uh, look at my paper. It's definitely seen some days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be really, really good. So, it smells delicious. I know you're not here. Um, hmm. But you can tell, see how the broth is getting, like, really, like, murky? That's what you want. That's good. That's good stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to throw some wine in there. You don't have to do this. You can omit, omit this step. Uh, so what's this broth? Ooh, steamy. Uh, so what's this broth going to be used for? That's a good question. I'm going to show you how uh, to store it. And it can go in anything. Like uh, it can be added to sauces. It can be added to soups. It can be added to stir fry. It can be added to anything. And now you don't have to buy any broth or really prep anything. You can just throw it in there. Isn't that wonderful? You can make cooking that much quicker. The lighting in my house is horrible. Someone uh, complained about my video saying I look like an old hag. Cool. Yeah, I'm an old hag. Deal with it. Yeah. Buy me a facelift, people. All 
All right, let's see how that bacon's doing. Like I say, you'll know it's ready when the bacon's done. Mm, a little bit longer. We don't want to get salmonella, do we? Have you ever had salmonella? I had it once. There was this Mexican restaurant that I loved and they were locally owned and they're, they're fantastic. Like I'm not going to talk shit on them, but damn, one time I ate there and I got salmonella. I had to go to the goddamn emergency room. Shit. You don't want that one. Let me tell you, make sure you cook through your pork and your chicken and washing it first is a myth. Don't buy that. Uh, that just spreads it around. It's basically just a uh, luck of the draw or cross contamination. God, was that not miserable though, having salmonella? Oh my God. And it sucked because I was in the hospital for two days and then uh, we already had a trip booked for Vegas. Uh, and we couldn't get any of our money back, so we had to go, and it was in the middle of August. Have you ever been to Vegas in August? Do not recommend. Uh, so I was walking around with that heat with salmonella. Oh, Lord. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Mm -mm. I'll wish one of my exes on my worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Smells delicious. I know I keep saying that, but it really does. Uh, the bacon is almost done. I mean, I know bacon is cured and it's like not going to get you sick, but I prefer it when it's like cooked through. It's also kind of like a natural timer. You know what I'm saying? I think this is about done. Um, so what do we do now? So I'm gonna turn it off. That's hot as hell, of course. Look at my fancy pot holder, people. It's a bar towel. Okay. So we're gonna make the broth cubes. Broth cubes, you sir? Now this is logistics. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to pick it up. I should maybe get my roommate. Okay. So this is what I worked out. Um, so I've got a pot with a whole bowl on there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to pick this up and dump it in there to just get the liquid out. Try to maybe film it. You can watch me burn myself. Probably. Sorry, give me one second. You can stare at my ceiling. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna put this like this. Get you an ice cube tray. I found this one on the side of the road. Don't worry, I cleaned it. Um, and then you might have seen this on the internet, but it's so handy. Dump your broth, whatever you made, be it vegan, vegetarian, whatever. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now that 
goes in the freezer. And then when you're making soup or or sauces or whatever, you can just pop one of those cubes out and throw it in and it's already seasoned. Isn't that amazing? Like that makes uh, cooking so much quicker and so much easier. So that's, that's my tutorial on broth. And uh, hopefully it makes your cooking life more wonderful. Anyway, that's it. Bye.